Samuel Franklin Cody, cowboy aviator, engineer, and pioneer who changed the world. Samuel grew up in the fields of Iowa in 1867, a boy of spirit, determination, and a boy of dreams. He was born for a purpose. The sky was the limit for Samuel. Samuel! This is for you, boy. Ride it like a cowboy. His mom and dad bought him a horse, which changed the path of this young life. He learned horsemanship, riding, shooting, and how to be a showman. With the new skills and belief, he created a Wild West show, which toured America, where he met Maud, his first wife. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm uh, Samuel Cody. I'm delighted to meet your acquaintance. Uh, uh, Thank you, Norristown. Ah, you were magnificent. Ah. Uh, Better. I mean, why should America be the only one to see the magnificent Cody? His shows captivated America. Europe. Europe is the key. Now we'll open that door. He was a hero, but he wanted more. In 1890, he traveled to Britain and to York. A new and bigger challenge awaited him, and he was ready for it. His Wild West shows were a great success across Britain and Europe, and he became the people's Ooh. champion. Thank you, he invited thank you very much. The wonderful British thank public you. to an open audition. I thought the British public would flock to the London Royal Aquarium auditions. But... Lord, I think it is time for us to pack up. <laughs> and a beautiful lady with her children Who's attended. There? From a part on, of society which he had only a spot. Oh, ma'am, uh, may I formally introduce myself? Your first task is to try and lasso this wild beast. Do you think you can do that? Have a go. You have three attempts, and if you show real aptitude, we'll move on to the shooting. And shoot. Squeeze the trigger when you're ready, and try not to aim too high. Wow, real sharpshooters. Well, congratulations. I can now confirm after having evaluated your performance this afternoon that you The children's auditions were a great success and Cody show. made and you will a connection with the mother lady, Nugget here in which would London. change you all of their My lives pleasure. My pleasure. Congratulations to you both. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cody. What a marvellous experience for the children. <laughs> You're so talented and masterful on stage. Well, I must say, ma'am, the pleasure was all mine. 
Oh, and uh, please call me Samuel. Maud, his first Whoa. wife, returned to America. on seats. Yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> that ought to do it. His hobby and interest with kites, especially man kites, helped the war effort with the Navy and was to take over his life. Airship which I designed. It is my view that we should now move to look at these new flying machine designs which I have for you here. They are the future. We are already His relationship the with his now second wife brought him into contact with influential figures in the British establishment. But also Understand, Cody, into wherever conflict. your aspirations are, when we are ready to review this policy, it will not just involve you. Others, such as the British inventor Lieutenant Dunn, will it was Cody also against be the establishment with his new exciting flying machine designs. Franklin, we have been given a challenge to invent a free flying machine which can operate at 1,000 feet. Oh my. Franklin, how can we accomplish this? Do we adapt a kite? But a kite is only a kite as long as it is fixed to the floor with ropes or guy lines or cables of some sort. We will have to remove these limitations, Franklin, but how do we do this? From man lifting kites to designing and building airships and to heavier than air powered aircraft and flight. Cody was magnificent. How do I achieve this, Frank? His passion, his belief swept all before him. But it did not. Here it is, Franklin. This is it. Friends. This is how we are going to control. He was now racing the British establishment to be the first to fly an American against the established British aviators. And this, in time, in turn, will also allow us to adjust the pitch so that we may adjust our height. Franklin, we still have one fundamental problem. All we have are plans and lost nights. The amount of time I have spent in this workshop eludes me. And all we have to show for this is a model. But we must make this model a reality. Otherwise, this has all been for nothing. And that cannot be. We must find somebody to finance this project. We must find somebody to manufacture this vehicle so that we can win this competition and we will be victorious. In accordance Cody the American, the Wild West showman, became a Samuel British citizen and a beloved hero. Be this is his wonderful story. I the story of an American hero, the father of flight and the first to fly in Britain, beating the establishment in 1908. I, Samuel Franklin Cody, do swear to be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Edward, his heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God.
Cody's drive, passion, determination, and belief overcame his doubts and challenges. Are you ready to overcome yours? Ladies and gentlemen, this death-defying stunt is now about to begin. Are you ready? I said, are you ready?